Forget Me Not, Part 2. Eliona. <laughs> Hello. You smell like diesel. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't smell it at all. I've been to a transportation company. Well, so what? Have they hired you? <laughs> well, it's for a while anyway. Mm -hmm. Later we'll think of something. What is it? Nothing. Well, I see you have something to say. I have two bits of news. So? I got a job at school. I'll be working as a music teacher in junior classes. Well done. That's great. And the second news... I've already decided everything. <laughs> I don't understand that. I'm going to have a baby. Six weeks already. Aren't you glad? Well, I understand that this has happened very quickly, but... But I'm having this baby. Say something, please. Aliona. We're really having a baby? Mm-hmm. I thought... <laughs> That's a small one with hands and legs. Mm -hmm. He'll scream mom and dad. Auntie Olga! Auntie Olga, stop! What's Here. the matter? Here. I was told that you got married. Auntie I congratulate Olga. you. What, what do I tell... tell Eliona, huh? What? Don't say anything. Send her a telegram. I want really? her to come to say goodbye. No, 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 you're gonna be fine, okay? You're just gonna have surgery and everything will be fine. Right, to her. She is the only one I have. <laughs> yes. Okay? okay? Take the keys. Close everything here. Okay. Good morning. What do you want, miss? Miss Vedamova, this is our new teacher. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. <sighs> Aliona. Aliona Kravtsova. Okay, just how old are you? I'm going to be 20 soon. Our principal must think he's in a hopeless situation if he takes on people right from kindergarten. <laughs> well, I think your principal's mm, a decent and reasonable person. Mr. Yuryev is pure gold. You'll be good friends with him, though he's a bit absent-minded. <laughs> yes, I've noticed that. Oh, would you like some tea? Sure. Are you going to work part-time or full-time? Um... Aliona, excuse me, what's your last name? Kratsova. So, Miss Aliona Kratsova, we should discuss the situation. Without consulting me, Mr. Yuryev takes on God knows who... Miss Vadimova, you're saying outrageous things. I'm not going to ask you, Miss Yakovleva, what I should say and how. Excuse me, I have a lesson now. If I have any time, I'll come to see you. <laughs> Have you seen such an insolent person? Artyom, are you at home? I'm back now. What is it? Here you go. A telegram. Mommy. Mommy. 
You're here. Oh, darling, let me look at you. Come. You've changed. A fully fledged adult. Mama, why didn't you tell me anything? I would have come to you right away. Why? You and I would have gone to the best hospital, Mom. Don't cry. Don't cry. Has our team come too? Hi, I, I would really like to see him. I have a photo, just a second. Here, take a look. Oh. Hmm. I'm glad. I'm glad you won't be alone. Mom, what are you saying? I will carry you. Do you hear that? <sighs> That's okay. Don't cry. Here you go. Well, okay. So is it better now? It is, dear. It is. <laughs> Mom, I wanted to tell you. Just don't worry, okay? Oh, I'm always worried when uh, you ask me not to. It's just... It's just that... Artyom and I are going to have a baby. Oh. But... Uh, you aren't married. Mm. And what, what about the music conservatory? Mom, well, everything will be fine. I love him very much. And I already love the baby. And Artyom? You? you know how happy he was? He really wants children. Uh, so you're going to be a grandma soon. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could live well, that Well, of long. course you will, Mom. How could I live without you? I love you very much. Very, very much. <laughs> Mom? Mom? Mom, are you asleep? Mom? 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 Oh, Mom. Oh. I beg you, please. Oh, Mom, please. Please wake up, Mom, I beg you. I'm so sorry I was late. It's okay, they helped me. Here, I should clear everything. Mom didn't like it when it was untidy. Come on, let's sit down. You've got to get some rest. I'll clear everything up. 
You shouldn't. I'll do it. I want everything to be like it was before. Look, we've had these plates all my life. Stupid little roses, right? For 20 years, not one has broken. You need to sleep. Just sleep a little bit. It's good that she didn't suffer. I wouldn't endure it. Of course. This often happens in early pregnancy. Sometimes the body isn't ready, or there's some genetic problems. Or worries, stresses, infections, well, anything. Her mother died three days ago. That's it. Perhaps the severe stress caused a miscarriage. No need to worry. You'll still have children. She's a young, healthy woman. Well, well, hold on. Now she really needs your help. You want me to make you some food? I don't want to eat. The doctor said that- I don't care what she said. Eliona, just- Leave me alone, okay? school to see the schedule. Eliona, I think you'd better stay home, all right? To have rest. I can't. I'll die here. Good morning. Well, that's it. Run to your class. Good morning. Oh, Eliona. How great. You're back. How was the trip? My mom passed away. You see, you have to go through it. Just to go through it, you should work more. Children, they take all the pain out of you and it becomes easier. And don't keep it to yourself. When you do, it's even worse. I don't do that. Everything is empty inside. And for some reason, I have to eat, drink, and breathe. Q. 
Kitty, 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 baby. You're still a baby. Oh. You want to live, don't you? Oh. Oh. Yeah, so do I. But it never works out, you know? And Eleona feels so bad, but she doesn't want to talk about it. Hey, let's go see her. Huh? You know how kind she is. She'll give you some milk. Come on. Tell where have you been, huh? Could you call me? Well, I'm sorry. It just happened. Look. Look who will live with us now here. Are you kidding, huh? My little kitty. But why? I thought you were lonely now, and he's so... He's so good. Look at him. He's alive. You can pet him and hug him. And he's so... He's so warm. If you come home drunk again, I'll leave. Do you understand? Oh, my God. I thought you were my wife. And you're a little fool. Yes? Let's go, Timothy. I'll pour you some milk. Let's go. If you wait for bus 36, it just left. That's okay, I'll wait. Wait, wait. What are they writing about? Something interesting? Hmm. Male, a former military man. I'm looking for a woman. The woman must have her own living space. I don't have any. <laughs> Sergey. And here's private classes. Private singing classes from a music conservatory teacher. Yes. Oh, sure. And how much is it? Okay. Tomorrow? Yes, it's fine with me. Thank you. See you tomorrow. It's like they turned on the light for you. I arranged a meeting with a teacher. Tomorrow I'm having a singing lesson. Oh, don't you have enough of that with your students? I've always been singing as long as I can remember. When I feel bad, I sing. When I feel fine, I sing too. <laughs> for the last year, somehow, I haven't had time for it. Well, you can sing on your own at home home. No. I need my voice to be able to, to breathe. I want to sing as much as you want clean air. <sighs> You've guessed right. I'm from a village and I can't get accustomed to life in the city. I love children, but life is different here. So go to the village. You'll teach children there. I can't. Something is holding me here. Hello. 
I have a surprise for you. Let me cook dinner, all right? Thank you for the flowers. You haven't forgiven me. Eliona, honey, I, I really, really love you. I really, really do. I just felt so bad yesterday. I didn't want to live because of the baby. I thought you didn't love me anymore. I love you so much, but you don't even let me help you. You're pushing me away. It hurts me as well, you know. And you don't talk to me. This was my child, too. I'm sorry. I feel like they took everything out of me. I'm empty. Nothing's left. I don't want to live. Yesterday, I looked into the mirror and I wanted to disappear. Please don't think those thoughts. We're gonna get past this. We're together, you know? I'm so scared, as if something else is going to happen. Nothing will happen. That's it, enough. You know what? Let's get married. Are you serious? Of course. I just want you to be my wife because I love you. All the girls decided to play piano, can you imagine? So start giving lessons. Sasha, we're getting married. Oh, really? My boyfriend proposed last night. I'm so happy for you, congratulations. <laughs> well, it's too early. How much I envy you, in the good sense, of course. Sasha, you'll be fine too. Oh, don't comfort me. I've known all about myself since I was 15. Mom called me a hat rack when she wanted to make a joke. Well, I would marry you. <laughs> exactly, and all my friends say the same thing. But my prince never looks at me like a woman. Oh, wait, do I know him? No, no. He's from another district, to put it short. You're crying, aren't you? No, it's a seasonal allergy. You see, I even can't cry because of unhappy love. Oh, Sasha. I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. Wow. Ow. Come on. I hear painfully familiar modulations. It seems that a captain from the 67th Regiment used to swear just like that. What are you doing here? This and that. Different things. So this is your war horse, is it? Not half bad to me. You don't like it? it? Says nothing, doesn't ask for food. Have you tried to contact the military? What's the point? It's finished, that's over now. Well, you could try to get reinstated in rank and retire as an officer. You are an officer, aren't you? If only they reinstated me. Would you go to slave away again? Man, you're crazy. Maybe. Are you sure this is even possible? Yes. I've consulted a military lawyer. Will you go? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Miss Savalodova? Yes. I'm Aliona Kravtsova. I see. Come on in. Thank you. What are you doing standing there like a ghost of Hamlet's father? Oh, I don't understand why people like to stand in the doorway. 
I'm sorry. First, we'll warm up. Hmm. I'm sorry, I thought we'd just talk first before we start. Before talking, I need to hear you, dear. Calm down. Oh. Start. <sighs> Don't push. Um, calm down. Let's try um, uh, mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. What are you going to sing? Aria of Tresino from Figaro. Mm. Okay. Well, what can I say? It's terrible. It's simply disgusting. I don't know who taught you there. Why? I... Don't interrupt me, girl. The voice is tense. You don't know anything about the technique. I must say you're certainly gifted. Why did you come to me? To study. I was going to enter the conservatory after music school. And you would have failed the audition. I'm telling you this. But I want to sing. At least for myself. For yourself? <laughs> to sing for yourself, you don't need the music conservatory. I'm not going to teach you. Don't you shed your tears here. Stop it right now. Nothing terrible has happened. We are beginning the class. And in a month, it'll be clear whether anything decent will come out of you or not. Come here to the piano. Let's start with the diaphragm and breathing. I'll do my very best. Mm -hmm. What's your bag doing there? I'm packing my things. I need to go to the military base. Why is that? I want to be reinstated in rank. I decided I should file an application. It'll only take two weeks. So you've decided to return to the army? Are you against it? Well, you just didn't talk about it. You've decided already. When are you going? Tomorrow. I quit my job. I borrowed a little money, left it up for you in the nightstand. And I thought that you would stay with me for a while. What is it? What is it? Tears? Mm -hmm. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Seriously, it's very important to me. I understand. My darling, will you wait for me? Of course I will. Tell me, what would I do without you? I have no one but you. I have no one. What are you saying? That I love you, and I can't live without you. That's what's right. Yep. Why do you love me so much? I don't understand. Don't you ask stupid questions. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to ask stupid questions then. But still... Why don't you understand? You love not for something, but love someone. Oh, really? Really. My dear, dear ladies, look who's come to see us. <gasps> Mr. Vladimir Alexeyev, I thought you didn't want to see us anymore. Miss Yakovlova, good morning. I'd really like to talk to you about my little beauty a little later. Oh, of course, yes. And now, Mr. Alexeyev, let me introduce you to our new music teacher, Miss Aliona Kravtseva. Mm. Nice to meet you. Mm. Vladimir. Nice to meet you, too. Mr. Vladimir Alexeyev is our sponsor. He supports our school. Well. His daughter, Vera, is studying in the second grade. Uh, Mr. Vladimir Alexeyev. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And why didn't you come to me? Well, actually, I wanted to talk to Miss Yakovlova about my daughter. I will be more than happy to tell you everything about your uh, daughter. Let's go to my right. office. All right. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh. 
Well, did you see this? As if we were non-existent, as if we were some slaves here. Don't think about it. Oh, I'll tell you what's going on. She's been courting him for two years. She wants to marry him. You got some stuff going on here. All in all, our sponsor is a widower. Mm Mm-hmm. The thing is, his wife died a few years ago. They say he loved her very much. He has a daughter. Well, he's never got married again. He's working all the time. He has good business. So our head teacher has fallen for him and doesn't allow anyone to approach. Do you like him? He's a good person. (laughs) Well, just a bit stressed out, though. Do you know where to find Gromov? Yes, check near the gym. Oh, I don't know, Katya. Well, this isn't real life, honestly. Natasha's in Moscow, works in a travel agency. Verk is in St. Petersburg. She's had a boy. Artyom. Hello? I see you got married. You've changed. Good afternoon, soldiers. Oh, Oh, good afternoon, Mikhailov. Why are you here, huh? Well, I escaped, decided to hide here with you, all right? (laughs) Are you kidding me? (laughs) The case was retired and they threw out the verdict. Look, well, I congratulate you. And immediately to see us, well done. Well, not immediately, I had had some time to think about it. So what have you decided? I'll file a petition to be reinstated in rank. Mm. And come back here if it all works out. Well, then come to our base. We'll help you, huh? Listen, guys, thank you so much. You already helped me out a lot. Good morning. Good morning, Eliona. Good morning, Mr. Alexeyev. Have you brought your daughter to school? No, my daughter is sick. What happened to her? Oh, well, it's okay. It's Hmm. just a simple cold. I hope she gets better soon. Excuse me, I'm going to be late for my class. Eliona, wait. Just a minute, please. Mm -hmm. I know tonight you... Could I see you today after work? Mm -hmm. I know a wonderful coffee shop. They make amazing coffee there. No, you shouldn't think that I... Well, I don't think anything. I'm getting married soon. I'm sorry, Aliona. Goodbye. All the best. I'm so sorry. (laughs) My dear, well, this won't do. Why are you singing like this? Have you had lunch today? Yes. Why are you squeaking like a hungry mouse? Let's do it once again with a topsy. Darling, well, you shouldn't be like this. That's enough. You're indeed like a small child. If I'm not the one to scold you, we aren't going to get anywhere. All in all, get used to it. I have quite a temper. I'm so sorry. It's all right. And don't apologize all the time. Are you ready? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here's Miss Aliona Kravtsova. Come in. We are all discussing one very interesting idea with Mr. Vladimir Alexeyev here. Yes. Well, I want to establish an award among the best students of the school. What do you think about That's this? That's a great idea. We have Anna Globkova from the fifth grade, a really smart girl. She sings, she dances, got the first prize at the regional academic contest. Miss Kravtsova, what do you have to say? It's great to establish an award, but if you want my opinion... Well, of course. That's why I'm here, to hear out all the opinions. You see, children... Children don't study for us. 
but for themselves. <laughs> and their reward for academic success is a mark in the report card. That's very interesting. I haven't been working here for a long time, but I have noticed that there are children from low-income families. Talented, smart children who would really do well with some help. They could then show off their talents. I see. Um, any last names? Who exactly then? Well, for example, there is... There's Maxim Cherkov from the second grade. A large family, very poor, and Maxim has perfect pitch. After a month of our music classes, he can actually play quite sophisticated things by Just ear. Just a minute. Alyona, you're a new person here, and you don't understand many things. This family has been visited by specialists from Child Protection Services. Do you call they taking the kids away hell? What do your protection services do? Mr. Alexiev, Maxim's mother is very sick, and sometimes he doesn't attend school because there's nobody to look after the younger ones. You have a child not attending school in your class, and you keep quiet. Well, what do you want me to do? Give him a D? Fail him? Make him repeat the grade? Well, just a moment. In my opinion, our conversation has taken a different perspective. Aliona, Sasha, let's meet after classes and discuss how we can help this poor boy, Maxim. I'm afraid it's not too... Yes, of course. We'll be happy to. Okay. And I don't fit into this younger age group, or... or do I? I am sorry. I didn't want to distract you from your important affairs. <laughs> Unfortunately, I really must go now. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. So, would you guys like another dessert? No, thank you. Excuse me, I have to go. Have a nice evening. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> uh, would you like some wine? What wine do you prefer? White, please. Great. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Could we have two glasses of your French white dry wine? Mm-hmm. Something really good. Mm-hmm. Thank you for staying here, Sasha. So I'd like to discuss a matter with you. Of course, we are close friends. But I feel you're an open and friendly person. Don't worry, I know how to keep other people's secrets. Thank you. Sasha, could you tell me Does Aliona really have a big love? You've puzzled me with the question, sir. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm puzzled too. Well, she's a pretty reserved lady. She doesn't talk a lot about her feelings. I only know that she's going to marry this Ardium. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's still hope for me? You know, I have my own rule about love. You should hope even when there's nothing to hope for. Do you understand what I mean? I think so. Here's your wine. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for supporting me, Sasha. To you. Yeah. Artyom, hello. I must have woken you up. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. I had a lot to do today. I came home late, and I didn't call you and fell asleep. I see. Take care of yourself, okay? Of course I... Sorry, I just didn't wake up yet. Well, then call me tomorrow, okay? All right. Well, talk to you tomorrow. I love you very much. Me too. Was it your girlfriend? <sighs> it's none of your business. Do you love her? I'm not going to talk to you about Aliona. 
So why did you come here then? Artyom, I didn't want to. I didn't want to come, but it's stronger than me. I've been through so much. I even wanted to go after you to the prison. Well, why didn't you then? I don't know. It seemed to me then that everything had died. That's why you got married then? I felt really bad then. The doctor said if I didn't have a baby in the coming years, then I wouldn't have children at all. I almost died without you there during the first month. I'm sorry. If only you knew how I'd cursed your name. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You should forgive me this. Do you remember how happy we were? Your friend didn't like me very much. What was her name? <sighs> the fat one. Not fat, just a bit overweight. She told me then you'd see Sonia. He'd take you to the step. You'd be an unhappy soldier's wife. You haven't been a soldier's wife. What ranks your husband? A major? Major? Yes. He's going to be promoted soon. Isn't he going to look for you? Do you want to drive me away? No, I don't. But you'd better leave. I'll take you to your home. It's late now. Ira, hello. Can you talk? I haven't been able to contact Artyom for two days. Can you find out, please, whether he's in town or not? Ira, why are you silent? Look, I didn't want to tell you, but once you called, I've seen him, okay? With you-know-who. The chick, man. With Sonia? Wait. With his ex fiance Do you know any other Sonia? Everyone's saying she's living with Artyom. Living? In my house? Look, you know what? Stop. Let's not panic. I didn't see what they were doing with my own eyes. I don't know for sure. But I have seen them together. Oh, Aliona, hello. Why are you here? Sasha, excuse me. I can't go to class. Oh, my God. Come with me. <sighs> well, how are you? Have you calmed down? Can you breathe? Listen, I'll go to the head teacher. I'll say that you have food poisoning, and you should go home. I'll come to you after school. Do you hear me? I don't want to go home. Sasha, can I stay with you for a while? Well, yes, of course. So, remember, 5 Volchigan Street, apartment 15. It's not far, just around the corner. Thank you. Sasha, could you please go to my place and get my things and leave a note? Aliona... Wait, you shouldn't decide when you're feeling like this. What happened to you two? Is that all? Maybe you'll just stay with me for a while and calm down a bit. Here you are. I should go. Kitty, they've left you here, haven't they? Oh, let's go with Auntie Sasha. Uh -huh. Hello? No, it's not Aliona, it's Sasha, her friend. Aliona's um, gone out. Should I take a message? Are you coming tomorrow then? All right, then I'll tell her. Leona, when I was in your apartment, Artyom called. 
He said that he's coming tomorrow. Did you tell him where I am? Should I have told him? Sasha, don't tell him, please, okay? Can I stay with you for a while until I find an apartment? I know everything about Sonia. You're free. Don't look for me. Artyom, can you explain something to me? Why has Aliona left you? In short, I came to the town, well, to the military base, and there I met Sonia. Ah, so you hooked up with Sonia. You're an idiot, Mikhailov. Yeah, you're right. Call me whatever you want. I remembered the past. It's good that I stopped at the right time, but Aliona... Well, how? I have no idea. Damn. Some rat told her. I wouldn't blame others. You should make decisions for yourself. I don't know, I flew off the handle. Then I realized that there was nothing there, that, that I need Aliona. That Aliona is all I have. Well, maybe Sonia called her. You know, women are like that. Maxim. What should I do? Do you know where she works? At the school? Do you have the address? No, I don't. All right. Let's go to our place. We'll call all the schools. The school's unlikely to be on the other side of town. Let's go. Aliona, what's wrong with you? Are you sick? Vladimir, excuse me. I don't want to talk to anyone. I understand, but maybe I can help you in some way? At least to listen to you. It can't be helped anymore. You felt really bad, didn't you? How did you manage to live on? Is something wrong? Please take me to Sasha's place. Of course, as you please. You know it's better? In another place, I'll show you. All right, get into the car. If the teacher sees me in tears, she'll drive me away. Are you going to sing in such a state? I have two options. Either to lie down and die, or to sing. Aliona, you just need to have some rest. I must do it. My mother dreamed that I would enter the music conservatory, and I... You shouldn't blame anyone, especially yourself. I don't blame anyone. It's just that if I'd gone to Moscow, everything would have been different. Well, yes, but then I wouldn't have met you. <laughs> Stop here, please. Thank you for giving me a lift. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm coming. Sasha, 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 calm down, please. Who are you? Where's Eliona? Eliona? Yes, Eliona, my wife. So you're... Artyom. Oh my god, you shouldn't have frightened me like this. I'm sorry, this. I need to talk to her right now. And why do you think that Eliona is here? Well, they told me at school. And then she doesn't know anyone in this city except you, obviously. I don't know what happened between you, but yesterday I barely managed to comfort her. Look, you don't have to trust me. I'm not guilty. Please help me. I can't live without her. Oh, come on in. Would you like some tea? She didn't tell me anything about the baby, about you. You know, I have such a girl in the classroom. When someone hurts her, she tightens her lips, cries. She's the smallest in the class, but she doesn't say anything. Yeah, just like Eliana. 
So I tell her, Lisa, tell me who hurt you. Come on, let's sort it out. She only shakes her head, though. Thank you. I feel awkward. You waited for me for two hours. Ardium? Looking at you, you can't say that something has happened. What do psychologists call it? Inability to express emotions. Eliona, well, you shouldn't keep everything to yourself. Eliona. Hey, so excuse me. Artem, don't you dare! So that's how upset you are, isn't it? I'm looking for you around the whole city. I'm looking everywhere. I'm ready to die so that you'd forgive me, and you, you're with this... I suppose this is your ex-fiance, Aliona? Who is this man? You have no right to interrogate me. Tell him to leave right now. I'm not gonna ask anyone for anything. <sighs> Whatever. Aliona, listen to me. Let's leave this city. Now. We can go anywhere. Moscow, home. Just you and me. Please, come on. Just come with me. I'm not going anywhere with you. Self-respecting, aren't you? You want to crush me? Is that your last word, then? Yes. Well, goodbye. Eliona. I'll call you tomorrow. Maxim. Good afternoon, Uncle Fyodor. You come to see me, boy? I thought you turned your nose up. Well, come in. Thank you very much. Uh, mm, excuse me, Uncle Fyodor, but uh, have you seen Artyom recently? I've been looking for him for three days. Well, he's here. He's in the apartment. He hasn't come out. Well, do you think we should break down the door? Why break it? We'll open it with a knife. The lock's flimsy. I'll get a knife. Buddy, are you alive? Eh? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> alive? Hey. How could he have you... drunk so much alone, huh? Hmm. Uncle Fyodor, thank you very much. Uh, you can go. I'll deal with it myself. Yeah, I'll see you. Mac Maxim, what are you doing standing over there? Let me ask you, what the hell is going on here? How long have you already been drinking? Oh, uh, how long have you been drinking? <laughs> how long are you going to keep this up? What else can I do? <laughs> All right. My friend's looking for a specialist. He's building a factory in the forest now. He needs an engineer who understands the project, who can manage people. My friend, thank you for your confidence. All right, that's enough! You're an officer! And you're behaving like a sissy! You know what? I don't care. Well, then it's up to you. Only this is the easiest way out. You're gonna go downhill just like a rolling stone. Like a big old drunken monkey. You aren't gonna win her back like this. So when should I leave? Good morning. Good morning. To drop everything? Well, why? It would be better this way. 
Oh, Mr. Alexia. Good morning. Perfect timing. I'm trying to persuade Eleona not to leave. Maybe you could help? Well, I don't know if I have the right to do this. Are you going to leave right now? No, not right now. That's great. I would be really grateful if you could help me with my daughter. Is something wrong? Um, could I have a word with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I must go. You see, Miss Kraftsova, I have some problems with my business mm -hmm. now. And if I don't solve them, then I can just lose it. Vera's sick. And how can I help you? I can't take her with me, and the babysitter, unfortunately, can't look after her. Could you look after her at least one evening? Mr. Alexiev, good morning. Good morning. What a pleasant surprise. Why are you talking in the corridor? Come to my office. Uh, sorry, I'm here as a private person. I wanted to speak to Miss Kraftsova. Well, this isn't a reason for us not to have a cup of tea and talk. Excuse me, I'm talking to Miss Kraftsova, and right after that, I must go. I don't have time to have tea with you. I'm sorry. I understand. See you soon, then. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Children, keep it quiet! <sighs> well, would you agree, Miss Kraftsova? Of course, if you really need me to. Then I'll be waiting for you in an hour in front of the school. I'll see you. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to wake you up. Sleep, sleep, sleep. No, no, it's okay. How was your business? It's all right. We've managed to come to an mm. agreement. My partner is a bit hysterical, but he's a good man. How is Vera? Did she miss me? She seems to be fine. She didn't have a fever. I got up to check on her several times during the night. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm sorry. You really are my savior. Well, oh. I don't understand anything at all. I've been driving all night. Well, you should go to bed. I'll go. Eleona, well, where are you going at six in the morning? Let me make you a cup of tea. I still have three hours to sleep. Mm-hmm. And then I'll take you to school. You don't take good care of yourself. I was in a hurry to get home. Hello, Sasha. Thank you. Why are you like this? Like what? So mysterious. Am I mysterious? <clears throat> and whom does Mr. Alexia bring to school by car? Well, I don't know anything about this. <sighs> well, that's it. Now people will think we're having an affair. Are you saying you're not? Don't lose him. He's quite a catch. Sasha, what kind of catch? I just babysat his daughter and in the morning he gave me a lift. I don't know about you, but he decided everything a long time ago. I see. You're so lucky, Eleona. Such a man is in love with you. Miss Kravsova, can I see you in my office? I have classes. Immediately. Come in. Listen to me, my darling. I've been informed that you are taking advantage of your official position, giving private lessons using a school piano for money. I don't know who told you this, but... And it doesn't matter who told me. Do you know what it's called? Illegal entrepreneurship. Remember, the piano is the property of the school and not your property. I've never taken any money. <laughs> oh, I see now. Do you think that Mr. Alexiev has fallen for your eyes, my dear? Well, I don't think anything. <laughs> I just helped a girl. I gave her a couple of classes. <laughs> Good soul. Remember, if I hear of at least one incident, you will be fired immediately. You hear me? What for? What for? I've already told you what for. And in fact, Hmm, affairs with students, parents are also prohibited here. 
Who prohibited them? Don't think that you're... smart. You can go now. Wonderful. You've pleased me so much. Thank you. Yes. You've never praised me before. There's nothing to thank me for. My child, I have news for you. Here you are. What is this? This is a form. You should fill it in. In autumn, there will be a big contest held. This is your chance. We should have as many classes as possible, preferably every day. Only then I'll be able to train you to some decent level. Well, I... I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Emotions can wait. Now everything is to be put into work. Everything. Your tears. And love and hate. And joy and pain. All these should be here. In your voice. Do you understand me? Leona, wake up. Wake up. Go to the window. Is something wrong? Oh, come on. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Sasha? Did you tell him that it's my birthday today? <sighs> Am I supposed to invite him here for a cup of tea? Go to him, then you'll decide. How do I look? At your age, it's not important at all. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. What if I hadn't come out? That's a question about the past. And now, happy birthday. Thank you. Not the best day of my life. We'll fix this now. Let's go. Where? To one beautiful secret place. You don't know about it. Or maybe we should take Sasha with us. Some other time. Get in the car. Jump on in there. We're here. Beautiful. Yes. I want to build a house here. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. <laughs> like in Russian fairy tales, he built a house and brought a young wife into it. This is my birthday present. Will you marry me, Aliona? I'll do everything to make you happy. Whew, I've said it. The second time in my life. Aliona, I love you. I've loved you from the moment I first saw Vladimir, you. Vladimir, I don't know you at all. I give you my word, I will never hurt you. I need to think about it. I see. I won't rush you. You've had a difficult year. I will wait. Well, why are you hesitating? Let me call Artyom and tell him. 
It's none of our business. He is your friend. I don't know what kind of girl this Aliona of yours is, but a girl won't go to the prison after a man to have affairs a bit later. Listen, I don't know anything about her. I know everything about women. I'll call them. All right. Just don't say anything. Marina, just go away. Get out of here, would you please? I can't talk in front of you. So gentle. Artyom, hello. Listen, there's something I have to tell you. I saw Aliona with another man. Artyom, come... Come and take her away. By force if you have to. Do you hear me? I do. <sighs> hello, this is Artyom speaking. I'm leaving for the city, urgently. I'll come back in a day or two. Goodbye. Oh, hey, finally. And I've already thought that Vladimir has stolen you. <laughs> well, how was the ride? Was it interesting? Very much so. And I thought maybe I should really go to the village. The school year will be over soon and I'll go to my village. Will you go with me on vacation? I seem to be getting married. Did he make you a proposal? Yes, I haven't decided yet. But I took the ring. It turned out to be easier than I thought. Congratulations. Sasha. I've got some champagne left from the evening. Let's have a little, huh? To happiness. Get the tall glasses ready. Sleep or what? Hey! Uh, hey! Mm. Hold on! Uh, careful there! I got it, I got it. Where have you brought him from? An accident on Sverdlovsk Highway. This one's the most serious. Injury of the spine, internal damage. Three more ambulances are on their way. Well, the chances are 50-50. Are you related to him? He, he's my best friend. He's got no one else here. Well... Let's hope for the best, huh? Buddy, hey, how are you? You hanging in there? Artyom, what's the matter? The doctors told me that the surgery went well. I can't feel my legs. Artyom, you... You must be strong. The... Doctors told me... That with therapy, the recovery of muscular function is... Is very possible. Don't tell Aliona. You still haven't said where you want to go on a honeymoon. Do we have to go on this honeymoon? Actually, yes. Mm. To have memories in life, and then to show photos to our grandchildren. Well, I don't even know. We could go to France. 
We could take Vera to Disneyland there. Actually, the honeymoon... The honeymoon is like entertainment for adults. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, then I guess... You could choose yourself. Let it be a surprise. Hmm. When are they going to bring your famous foie gras? Soon. Aliona, why don't you want to move in with me right now? Vladimir, we've already talked about this. Be patient. I don't have such patience. Well, a week ago you said that you did. That it was virtually limitless. I lied totally. <laughs> Can I come up with you? Sasha's there. I see. The question is removed. Mm. Well then, I'll pick you up tomorrow and we'll... we'll choose a restaurant. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you. Thank you. Maxim? Aliona, sorry. Please, I'm at a business meeting right now. I can't talk. Maxim, what happened to Artyom? Is he alive? Yes. Maxim, I'm begging you. Tell me what's wrong with him. I can feel it. I'm sorry. I... I promise not to say anything. I gave my word. I'm asking you to break this word, Maxim. Tell me the truth. A month ago, Artyom was in an accident. He has a spinal cord injury and he's staying with me right now. Artyom. Aliona. You're here, honey. I've seen you now. I'm... scared of nothing but anymore. What are you saying? I'm sorry, Eliona, but you've got to go now, all right? And don't look at me like that. You should have known Sonia doesn't mean anything to me. I loved you, and I will. I'm not going go anywhere. Go away! I'm not leaving! You are alive. I won't leave you. Come 
Is Vera asleep? I brought her a present. You disappeared for five days. You didn't warn anyone. Sasha was terrified. I was about to file a report with the police. Vladimir, I'm sorry. Well, are we going to stand here? Come on in. No, I'd better say everything here. Aliona, I don't ask for any explanations. You got frightened before the wedding and you decided to think it over. No, it's not like that. I, I was with Artyom. Artyom is sick. He has a fracture of the spinal column. Forgive me for giving you hope. Now let's be sure we find him a nurse. What do you mean? What kind of nurse? I'm saying that you can make a big mistake right now. Do you want to commit to a disabled person? He's not disabled. Yes, he is. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with him? Eleona, this... It's not love. It's a feeling of pity, a sense of guilt. Please don't say that you are to blame. Don't do this. Yes, I am. Please do not do this. Vladimir, you don't understand. I love only him. I would have left you anyway. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's mm. tasty. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. Guys, look what I've brought you. Well, it's almost like I imagined it would be. My darling, Hello. where did you go? We have a contest coming soon, and you, this is an excusable negligence and attitudes towards me, to the music. What are you thinking of? Why are you doing this? Why? Just tell me. Miss Evelidova, let me introduce you to our team. Good morning. So it's you. You have chained her up. That's it. My darling, you must understand me. You must understand that your girlfriend has a gift. Do you understand? This contest can help her become a singer. And she disappears without a single word. I understand. It's love. Yeah, my friends, who hasn't fallen in love? <sighs> Well, you can't waste such a gift. I'm not going to the contest. Well, what did she say? No, no, do you hear what she's saying? Forgive her, I didn't know. Aliona, I think you have to go now. How can I go? I won't leave you. Am I gonna run away? You know there used to be a joke, you go where the motherland sends you, mm -hmm. understood? And I don't need to sacrifice. Forgive her, please. She's starting classes tomorrow, so she'll study every day. My dear, yes. I'm sorry I can't offer you tea, but I'm usually much more hospitable. But you know what happened to me. You don't have to worry about this. Thank you for bringing the sheep back to the herd. Aliona, I'm expecting you at 11 sharp tomorrow. Have a nice day. Goodbye, have a nice day. I'm not going anywhere. Listen, Aliona. Since my childhood, I dreamed of being a military man, and now I'm sitting here in this chair and dreaming of how I'll get out onto my feet and I'll do it. You've got to do what you've been dreaming of since you were a child. Do you hear me? Otherwise, don't come here. I'm selfish. I don't want to suffer from guilt all my life. Do you understand? What if something happens to you? All that happened in my life is you. The rest, the rest isn't important. Next contestant, Aliona Kraksova, is invited to the stage. Good luck.
What are you doing here? I've come back to you. No. <laughs> Have you failed the contest, Flunker? You didn't guess. I was invited for an internship in the theater of Moscow. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> when are you leaving then? Are you that stupid? Well, where am I going without you, huh? We'll put on your feet and go together. The theater will wait. I sent your husband's data to my friend. He's mm -hmm. a doctor working in a medical center in the capital. He says Artyom has good chances to get on his feet. Mm -hmm. But there's a but. I can't promise you the state allowance for this year, and the surgery is to be done urgently if we want to achieve full recovery. How much does it cost? Well, if you don't consider the cost for travel and accommodation, then this is the sum. This is a whole fortune. Thank you for coming, Mr. Alexiev. I understand what I'm asking about. Anyone would have refused if they were you. Sasha, well, I don't mention it. I don't forget people. Just tell me honestly, why do you need such a sum of money? This is for Eliona. She collects money for a surgery for Artyom. She's sold her house, but still doesn't have enough. So I thought that maybe you could help her. Sasha, why do you need all this, hmm? You don't sleep at night talking to me on the phone? Now you are as fussy with Aliona as a hen with a chick. Maybe it's time to start living your own life. Well, I'm such a village idiot. I love everybody. I love Aliona. I love you. I'd do anything for you. So will you? Will you help Aliona? How much more do you need? Ten thousand dollars. Damn it. Aliona, Marina and I decided to use the car wash as a pledge and take out a loan. Maxim, Artyom and I will never accept this. You need money to support the family. Well, what if there's no other way well, out? Well, there must be another way out. I can arrange a charity concert. I can... Yeah, okay. I'll answer it. You surprised? A little. Can I come in? I see. Sasha told me everything. I've brought the money for the surgery and you're... I'm not taking it. Yes, you are. I can't take money from you. Aliona, Artyom won't understand it. He'll get over it. I couldn't understand either how I would stand next to you, but here, I'm standing, talking. Vladimir. Aliona, I want to give you the money and disappear. Take it. You're just giving me the money and that's it? Yes, I'm giving you the money. My daughter is waiting for me. Take it. Aliona. Are you happy? Yes. I'm glad then. Goodbye. Who was it? Santa Claus. Did he bring me new legs? Almost. Maxim. Well, well, do you see them or not? Marina, don't, don't fuss, please. Boys, be quiet. There, there they ah, are. Ah! 
Our deal! <laughs> Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hi, heroes. Hello there. Well, have you come here for long? Oh, easy. Look at you! <laughs> oh, easy, 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 easy. You'll crush me. Come on. Look at them. Uh, wow. Yeah. Look at you. Don't give me all the credit. Aliona was offered a contract. Internship in the theater for the next year. Look at that. Listen to this guy. They're already talking like real metropolitan <laughs> residents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, country people. Uh, do, uh, don't you think that my wife looks really, really good today? <laughs> oh, really? Wow, that's great. Oh, congratulations. Huh? <laughs> as soon as I started walking, I took her to the registry office on my crutches. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Aliona, just wait. Soon Artyom will be running after you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on.